One of our most popular dishes, and it's a signature dish, which is molokhea. All right, well, I'm looking at a bowl at what looks like maybe some frozen spinach. No, it is not. It looks very much like the spinach, but it, it's called molokhea, and it is known since Pharaoh's days. This is how we get it from Egypt, and because it is not available anywhere. The molokhea itself, it's mild. The key things of it, the three key ingredients. So it is coriander, and coriander, we ground it fresh. So this is how it looks after we finish it. And fresh garlic and ghee. So the mix of these three and the process of cooking it, it's what make our molokhia is really unique. All right, well, I'm excited to try it. So how do you get started here? So it's very easy. Uh, now the roast is boiling. We'll take the molokhia while it's still frozen, and this is key, it because it's grown in Egypt, so it's fresh. But because here it is frozen, I have to add it while it's still frozen to have the same like structure, the same taste with same freshness while it's still melting. First, we'll add some more salt, and now we will go with the fun part of it. <laughs> I call it in Egypt, the leia. And this is the ghee? This is ghee, and we prepare our ghee in-house three times a week. And Dina, why do you use ghee for the for the cooking? Actually, this is how we grow up. My grandma, my ma, everyone. And from health perspective, ghee is more healthy than butter. Healthy uh, or not, yeah. I'm just happy if it's tasty. It's so tasty. <laughs> like, people when they have breakfast here, they ask me, why your eggs is different? I'm telling them, it's not only because of it's organic, but because of the ghee. Adding now the garlic, and we'll fry the garlic uh -huh. first before we will add the coriander. Wow. <laughs> yes. And you know what? What is funny? In Egypt, any apartment, any condos co uh, cooking molokhia, you smell it from the entrance <laughs> of the, the building. Now I add the coriander. Now you will smell a different oh aroma. <laughs> this garlic and this coriander together. Yes. Wow. When you're frying it in that much ghee, it doesn't and take long to release the And I will show you an Egyptian trick. Only people who grow up in my generation know about it. So when they are adding the ta'leya to molokhia, it is, it is something like traditional, they have to do it. It's, <gasps> yeah, <laughs> they think the molokhia comes so delicious if you do this. That brings it to life? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Should I try as well? Should I try? Uh, I don't think uh, the American <laughs> <laughs> will work like the Egyptian one. And this is our Egyptian trick, adding the ta'leya. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh gosh, this is delicious. Now will come the turn for the chicken. And this is chicken that's already been uh, partially yeah. cooked? Yeah, it is, it is cooked for one hour, and then we'll fry it. <laughs> I use Cornish hen only here at the restaurant. So um, the meat is really tender. The taste of chicken of Egypt really okay. is different than here. And so, so you're just looking to get a little color on the outside? It's not only color, you want to have it a little bit crispy. So right. when people are asking me, what is the Egyptian fried chicken? It is like the American one, but not breaded and made with ghee, not oil. Oh, so healthy again, right? Exactly. <laughs> So now, as chicken is golden and done, we are ready to put the rice. Add little molokhia in the top of the rice. Add the chicken to it. And have a bowl of molokhia with our fresh baked bread. Dina, this molokhia, this is a dish I'd never heard of before, but it looks amazing. You will love it. So how does one even get started here? So I give you the traditional way of how we eat it in Egypt. So you take the pita, which we call it ish baladi. We bake it fresh. You cut it. And we have something called cat's ear. Cat's ear. Yes. You get a piece of bread. And then you dip it in the molokhia. And then... You eat. Oh my gosh. Scoop. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yes. A flavor that I can't really even place because I don't think I've ever had anything quite like it before. 
And this is like a very traditional dish in Egypt. It's like uh, when you have turkey in the Thanksgiving. So our molokhiya, it's in any feast in Egypt. It's the main dish. Well, I love when a special occasion dish becomes available every day. Yes. Like here. That's so good. I'm going to try it with the rice too. Sure. Well. Let us have um, some of the rice. Okay. Hmm. And getting those little crispy bits like the garlic and the coriander that you fried in the ghee. So good. And the texture, just like I can't really place the flavor, the texture too is a little bit unusual. Yeah, the texture is a little bit like the okra. However, it tastes totally different. It's not about having the recipe. It's about the know-how and the talent and the passion when <gasps> you're cooking the mulukhaya. <laughs> That moment made all the difference. <laughs> and now, of course, I've got to try the Cornish hen as well. Here. 100%. That's awesome. And Dina, you started with a food truck, and now you have two more restaurants in DC. Do you feel like the word has gotten out there about Egyptian cuisine? Yes, we have put the first stone, first step. Actually, it is not only the Egyptian food, it's the Egyptian culture, food, and hospitality. Because for most of the American, the Egyptian culture is the pyramids and pharaohs. So our goal, when you walk in, you are welcome, very warm. You eat like an Egyptian, and when you leave, and you feel that we are your new family and friends.